you have uh, your election win, you should present. Now's your time. Oh, excuse me. Maybe not. Hang on just a second. Another announcement we can make at this time, and we're waiting for them to bring in the uh, speakers and then we'll hold the ring for your, uh, your election meetings. But uh, you do need a buyer's number if you want to purchase horses here. Uh, after the stallion presentation, we will have the uh, air sale, and uh, you will need a buyer's number, and uh, which can be uh, purchased at the office we are just outside of the large arena. And also, uh, they will accept credit cards, but there will be an additional 3% fee. So, uh, just uh, so you know,
All right, bring on the uh, yearbooks and weight which we can take a couple at a time. So uh, just uh, bring them on in, starting with lot number 242. 242 is the first one in. Two forty three, two forty four. I think they're very much in the time all over, so I don't really think I need to uh, uh, talk too much about it. So uh, why don't we hold the game there and uh, give you guys a chance? We'll bring about five at a time and uh, give you a chance to present them however you see fit. If there's uh, breeders here, uh, people uh, looking for young stock, if you're here to raise some colts or take it something and uh, grow up into something special, there's some great big assignments here today. Uh, you take a look what we've got in the ring. We've just got a great group of uh, uh, 2022 model bulls out here. And uh, just, uh, just uh, be sure to consider these. Uh, don't grow up with something. And if you've got some boys at home or if you've got some extra feed or you've got a little bit of room and you want a project, uh, we'll sell these right now. Okay, stallion owners, we get your stallion ready. In about six minutes, we'll be ready for you in here, and we'll try to go kind of order. So we'll, uh, you can be ready in about six minutes, starting now with uh,
If you just stepped out to the ring, the stallion that we have in here is a stallion number four.
We do have an announcement. Uh, Nathan Zimmerman, uh, please call home. You have an emergency. Nathan Zimmerman, please call home. We have Stallion six in early round. Take a look at this horse. Here's Cameron Golden Cat. He is the exception of Sterling Blue White Professions in Goshen, Indiana. Here is an American Saddlebred Stallion that is sired by Creek Rich, Cricket and Gold. Having a man as far away, Cat Mandu, who is by the South African Stallion Top Cat. Second man is by Apple's Dark Weepies Lord. I'm going to go back to the Tango's Weepie on the bottom side. Is a very well passed stallion to tread on the Panorama Farms breeding program. This stallion, we do have an update. It says he is under new ownership of Ivan and Elmer King, and they are offering a buy two, get one free service fee for the 2023 breeding season. Golden Hat has an undefeated show career and is now heading to the breeding barn. He stands for a service fee of $1,500. Yeah. 
trainers. If everybody can pick this up just a little bit, we're going to go to stallion number 20. Uh, stallion number 20 is coming in here. This is R.H. Choctaw Mayhew. He is going to sign up the Navy Partnership in Gordonville, Pennsylvania. This stallion is Sarah Dye Mohegan Hanover. The camp had all set. And the dad is delivered order. She is by an overhaul. Yeah, he won't be free until July. Here's uh, probably the first crop for a master 
piece that's driving here, uh, three years old, and uh, will be uh, standing with Kennedy Quine in Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. Here's Sally number nine. Again, check his birthday. Won't be free until July. That was Sally number nine, that was game stop. And everybody here okay, if, if you can't, uh, please let us know. If you can't hear somewhere around the uh, end here, please let us know. Looking for Sally at 10 now. This should be number 10. Uh, this is Charlie T, come from Mass Oak Foods. Uh, here is an old son of Ozzy Ozzy. And the dad is Little Miss Fly, who is by uh, Craig. Second dad is by Kyle Stimmage. Here's a 16 one hand bay Sally and a powerful driving horse. And he's being uh, he is standing and being presented by uh, Dave Fisher, the Southern ND Flying. He stands for an $800 service fee. Ship semen or on farm breeding is available. They do offer a live full guarantee. They offer a one year return privilege. And you can see Dave's phone number listed right there in your catalog. This is Sally number 10, and he is a son of Ozzy Ozzy from the Braves Mother. If you can uh, hear me in the barn, so we, are, we have stallion number 10 in the ring, looking for 11, 12, 13, and 14 down the line. Lot number 11. Lot number 11 is not here today. He is sick. But we're going to show you some offspring of uh, shackles and chains. I'll read his pedigree. Uh, shackles and chains. He is owned by uh, Hidden Valley Stables and Sunny Hollow Stables in Quarryville, Pennsylvania. Shackles and chains is an old son of Lucky Chucky and from a chocolatier mother. He stands with uh, Sunny Hollow Farm in Pennsylvania. Uh, their phone number is listed right there. And if you see the uh, offspring here, 104 is a parent that was in here earlier today. You talk about a sharp young three-year-old parent. She does a piece of drive. I look at the way she sets up the drive. She sells at the auction later today as 104. And this uh, 258, 258 is a set goal uh, listed in your catalog as well. Both offspring from Shackles and Chains. Shackles is proving himself as an elite guy. His oldest offspring are coming three years old. The uh, horse that just came in is 302. That's another offspring from Shackles and Chains. Just a two-year-old now. Just a two-year-old gal that can sell it to our own auction. Looking for uh, stallion number 12. Number 12, Frank yours. Here comes number 12. This is uh, HS Batman. Come from uh, Big Valley Horses in Belleville, Pennsylvania. This stallion is uh, certified duty chief now. The dam is HS certified. He was my credit winner. Second dam is my muscles Yankee. 
There's a young stallion with a lot of color and confirmation. Very intelligent young stallion just coming into the zone. He's standing in three sunny stables in Clamour, New York for the 2023 breeding season. He stands for a thousand dollar service fee. He comes with a live full guarantee. They are offering discounts if you book today. Ship semen or all car breeding is available. His all, uh, first offspring are due this spring in 2023. So again, we have a son of the Ely Dunn from a train for the future mother. He has got some chrome, uh, a lot of color going with him here today. Got to strip down his face in uh, three white socks and put some color red on those all spring. Here's number 15. His first time out in the public will be three years old in May. That's stallion number 15.
If you just now stand up, this is stallion 21A. There's a young fella about blue dope from Angus Hall on there. Just leaving the ring. Stallion 21 just left the ring, so uh, we're looking now for uh, Stallion number 22. Looking now for uh, Stallion number 22, this is Drinkster. He comes from Dave Salt Spoos in Gap, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is an old son of Trixton from a mayor by the uh, Green Vacation, second damage by Florida Pro. Uh, this horse stands for a $1,500 service fee. They do offer discounts if you book your mares to him today. They offer a live full guarantee and a one-year return privilege. So uh, this is uh, number 22. Here's Drinkster. Again, if you just stepped up here, this is uh, stallion number 22. This is Drinkster. Again, owned by uh, Dave Stoltz, who's from Gap, Pennsylvania. Uh, Son of Tristan stands for a $1,500 service fee.
22 has left the ring. We are looking for number 23. Here comes stallion number 23. This is Kaz Yalunki, come from Andrew Lee, Lincoln Lee, Old Pennsylvania. This four-year-old stallion is turned by Draymond Kaz. The dam is by SJ Photo. Second dam is by Striking Sabra. Here's an exciting young stallion that is standing here's first full season here in Pennsylvania, standing with uh, Blue Mountain Equine again. Uh, Blue Mountain Equine, one of our sponsors here at this event. Uh, so be sure to go visit their stalls back there. This is Kaz Yalunki. He is a four-year-old, and they do have some foals hitting the ground of this horse spring. Uh, nice, uh, pretty bay horse with a strip and some white uh, markings there. Uh, Kaz, you love you again by Dream on Kaz and from SJ's photo mother. They do offer a $100 discount if you book today, so see the folks back at uh, Blue Mountain Equine. This is Kaz, you love you, number 23 in your catalog. Just uh, like to encourage everybody that's here today. Uh, just uh, good to see everybody here. The bleachers are filling up. Uh, just a wonderful setup here to have a uh, horse auction and stallion presentation. And if you're here, it's a perfect timing for you to be thinking about breeding your mares. We're right uh, getting into the middle of January, uh, starting the breeding season uh, here. And there's a great lineup of stallions. Some of the best in North America are here on display today. No better time than now to go visit the stalls. Uh, get those contracts signed and get everything squared away. Looking now for number 24 should be Classic Ted in the game. Here's Classic Ted. He comes with number 24 today. He is a consignment Marlon Schmucker from Shipshawana, Indiana. Uh, this stallion is an own son of Can Classic. Uh, the uh, dam is Yankee Paco, uh, the sharp young stallion that is just starting to come into his own. He will be standing in Broadway. For this uh, 2023 breeding season, stands for a service fee of $800. He, they do offer a live full guarantee on this horse. On fire breeding, ship semen is available. A young stallion with a bright future. He has some very sharp offspring already on the ground. Comes from a driving pedigree, Ken Classic from a Yankee Tackle Mother. Again, $800 service fee, standing with the folks at Raleigh Twine Acres in Topeka, Indiana. Here is number 24. His name is Classic Ted. They do offer a $100 discount if you book your mares today. If you just stepped up here, this is uh, Stallion 24 is in the ring now, getting ready to exit that exit gate, looking for number 25. I believe 25 is next. Is this 25 or 25A? Straight 25 is what we got. We got Stallion 25, not 25A. We have lot number 25. This is Ozzy Machine coming from Cad G. Quine in Holly Brook, Pennsylvania. Three-year-old Stallion, a son of Ozzy Ozzy. Uh, the name is Domestic Broad, who is by Broadway Hall. Uh, second name is by Don Rail. They do offer ship semen or on farm breeding with this horse. A young three-year-old Ozzy Ozzy Stallion. 
They do have all mares already in full from last year, so his uh, fertility is excellent. They do have mares in full to him, and he will be standing uh, the uh, breeding season here in 2023 with Cad G. Quine in Hollywood, Pennsylvania. Here is his own son, Amazi Ozzy, from Broadway Hall Mother. Next setting in the ring, guys, is going to be S26, Yo-Yo O, consigned with the Big Valley Horses, Belleville, Pennsylvania. Standard red stand, guys, he is second by Conway Hall for the Muslim Yankee Mother. He's got a happy man second, Dan. The update says here, $650 for registered mares, $600 for great mares, stud fee, $5 a day mare care. Booking, uh, the booking fee is $150, $50 off if you book today, and $100 off if you pay in full today. Six-year-old stand, prepped by Harvest Lane Stables. 26-stand standing at Big Valley Horses in 2023. On-farm breeding is available, live full guarantee. On this young six-year-old stand, his name is Yo-Yo Ho. Keep that in mind, guys, listen closely. A lot of the standings here today, we're going to be here. Uh, there's going to be some discounts available, $100 discounts, maybe some 10% discounts. Uh, do what you want to do, but I always have thought to myself that it's time to uh, get a contract signed or something like that. Take advantage of these sale discounts. Uh, anywhere you can save is always a big thing. 26 is in, and uh, you need standard red standing by Conway Hall. So you have a $500 booking fee, and that is good to get a full. 
but then a thousand dollars will be due when the live fool is born. Twenty seven again, CJ Fruger. Be sure to support the sponsors of this sale. You'll notice the banners alongside the ring here. Just a big thank you to each and every one of the sponsors. Thank you to the committee for putting this great sale on. Very exciting to line up again. This is 27 Ruger. Another thing to keep in mind, he's standing on his way, Roll Cox is taking pictures, he's got a booth uh, just on the outside here. Next one coming in, I believe this is stack number 19. This is going to be Mr. Houston, sent by Ray Merton from East Earl, Pennsylvania. Stan Red standing by the hot sire Cuscio with a Mr. Cantab Dan, and over Hall second there. Quite the pedigree, standing in Southern in Inkline, 2023. Here he is, number 19, Mr. Houston Cuscio, son. Again, no mistake, standing at number 19 is in the ring. This is Mr. Gooch, who comes out of Ray Martin, East Girl, Pennsylvania. Standing at Southern End, deep behind, ladies and gentlemen, he's a Gooshio with Mr. Dan Tab and we're all day. This always is an exciting part of the year. Everybody's getting excited. I know some of you guys probably, if you're not thinking about planning ahead, you're waiting for your mayor to have a full before you get that contract signed. I encourage you uh, to maybe start looking to get that contract signed before your mayor has a full for this next year if you want in with the top stallions. Bring in Stanley at number 28, this is Magical Winter K. It's time at Nova Equine, Felix Farms from Spring Mills, Pennsylvania. Kadabra second with the Conway Hall American winner, Dan. He's got that witness car up there winning Miss Brenda. It's a great pedigree here at Youngstown. He's got a lot of potential and good pedigree. It says here, Magical Winter K is a new step into our area that is really starting to come into itself. Got a shift segment or on farm readings available. If you book today, you get $200 off. If you're looking for a bigger stallion with drive, check it out. Some serious commercial pedigree. If you look at his damn side, uh, he's got that winning this friend of uh, Winter CR. A lot of good pedigree down on the bottom side. And he's out of a very well sought after stallion, Kadabra. Just a young second looking to make a mark in the industry. Cadaver Sun, Conway Hall American Winter Dam. Quite a patch here.
And if you don't know them, man, well, they're on the first got a birthday today. He said something, is he 30 or 31? I didn't catch that, but he's, he, he turned, he flipped the page. Maybe we'll sing happy birthday later on. Happy birthday there, bud. Be sure to wish him a happy birthday on the stalls. Great job, that was 28. Ready for the next stallion, might be 29 coming in. Stand number 29, break out the goal. Here's that Elmer Lonskin Sand. Living on Pennsylvania. He might break the bank. Hey, here's that hot stand in the salt pan. Sierra Con's the second dam. He's a serious driver that checks all the boxes. He bred 106 mares the first year. Standing, uh, gonna be presented by Lanchester Equine, a young trotter that in only six weeks of training is a beautiful head, great confirmation, good running gear. All colts on the ground have pro. Very well mannered. He is standing at Lanchester Equine, $1,500 service fee, $1,000 for great mares. You get a $100 discount if you book today. On farm breeding or ship season is available. Only six weeks of training on this booger. I tell you what, here's another beautiful stallion. He's got excellent farm manners when Ginger gets him out of the stall. His little girls always come out and brush him. Quiet stand with a good head to him. He's got the crawl you like. Here he is. This is break out the gold. He's a break the bank case up. If you guys are looking to get a little chrome in your breeding program, get some brains in your breeding program, this might be the stallion to decide. He's got the pedigree to be some. Break the bank, pay Angus Hall. And you've got Sierra Cosmo, the anchor in the back. There was 29 break out the goal. We should be ready for standing number 30. Standing number 30, if you're getting anything in the commercial industry, you'll love the bread we that we've got coming in next. Should be winning happen. Here he comes. This is winning happening at the side by J.D. Petershine, Pete King Stevens, of Cleveland, Pennsylvania. Here's that Conway Hall, son. You gotta love the Conway Hall with the Boston Yankee Dam. He is damn, is Habit's best. Second dam is Habit, which produced the likes of Habit's best. Habit 10 on the street. There's a lot of money winners uh, on this damn side. As you can see there on the bottom, you'll see he's got a uh, record himself, earnings of $50,000. Full brother to Habitat. Made, uh, says here, made $1.262 million. Half brother on the street. You'll see his damn side is just loaded with some good pedigree. There's a lot of good commercial signs. He's PA eligible. Sale day discounts uh, are going to be happening here this week here. See Habit at Southern and Equine. Go back to their stalls if you guys are interested in signing contracts. Here he is, winning Habit. He's got to be a seven-year-old stag. Ranger. 
Here comes the Meteor Ranger. If you're looking for a big body bump, here he is. He is going to be in a beat off. Paul's son, Shadrach Sag, and Sam Bell and Nisley from Sheridan, Iowa. He's got a King Con's mother and a Victory of Green secondary. Co-owned with David Neerich, Drew and Sarah Buggy Horses, Race Horses, Show Horses. He himself was timed at 150. He's got a record of 152. Again, 31 in the ring, this is Amigo Ranger. Standing Farrier Acres for 2023, got the phone number right down there. If you guys are interested, be sure to go out to the stalls for contracts here. $1,000 service fee, ship semen will be available on this young tag. That was 31 on Amiga Ranger. The next one coming in should be Dewey Justice. We're seeing a lot of new names, exciting new names in the industry here. Dewey Justice coming in, guys. Here's another shank that's at the next level stables from Gap, Pennsylvania. He's by Rob Flex. He himself's got a Dewey Chino now, mother of Alligator second dam. Sharp driving, young stallion. He is fitted by Horseshoe Lane Stables. He is throwing consistent offspring. Lot number 246 here today. First offspring to sell at public auction. Standing the 2023 breeding season at Wyoming Farm in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Life will guarantee ship even on farm breeding will be available. When your return privilege, talk to Horseshoe Lane Stable for breeding contracts today. Start fee is $800, registered, and $600 grade. Another one's up, Chrome. Here he is, Dewey Justice, and he's got Dewey Cheatham and Howe tearing up the damn side. Here's another sharp young stallion that's just starting to prove himself. First offspring will sell lot number 246. Be sure to check them out. Again, this is Dewey Justice, tag number 32. A little bit of snip, but just enough white to make it pretty. Take a chance on a young stack that's just coming to his own. That was Dewey, and the next one coming in should be standing number 25A. Go back in your catalog. 25A is Greenwood Roger. Open up the gate. There he is, first time in the public. Here's Dreamland Roger. He's the of the Roger partnership from Gap PA. First time out, he's just a young, he's actually just a two and a half year old, young three year old. He's served by Dreamland Cobb, the one that Pennsylvania loves to hear. Lindy Lane, Penny M. Bounce in his second damn load with a damn side pedigree. He is first full crop. He's due to spring of 20.
2023. They're very excited to see what's going to happen. $1,200 service fee, guys. If you book and pay today or tomorrow, you get $200 off. You're going to be right in there in that $1,000 range. If you're looking for a big, strapping young stallion that's got some size and just trying to find himself a little bit of chrome right here, he is. He's about three more cows and a little late day. Standing in M Stables for 2023. Be sure to talk to them guys if you want to get some contracts signed this weekend. Here he is, hanging on the stallion. His name is 
Star Trek, and he might be the only Father Patrick here today in the standing presentation. Did not check that out, but definitely got some good pedigree. People like Travis with those big ones. Again, nine of our service be life will guarantee with a one year return privilege. Just a young standing is oldest of the crop for two year olds. Again, 34 in the ring, this is Star Trek. Next one in here is going to be 35, I believe it is. He's finally found the way. It's up Michael Smoker from Irishtown, Pennsylvania. Should be an Andover Hall stand coming in the ring. Andover Hall Yankee Light Bonefish is what I believe we've got here. Finally found the way. Stand by stand. That has got a record of 54 and 3. Shane 35 finally found a way. Andover Hall Yankee Glide, guys. If you're looking to carry on that Andover Hall train, there's a couple Andover Hall stands here today, but you see that as a solid, solid pedigree and a lot of damn size. If you want to carry that on, race some foals, we've got an Andover Hall side of the ring. Stand at Southern Indian Equine. Be sure to go talk to them, guys, if you're looking to sign a contract today. Again, 35 finally found a way. Good job, 35, leaving the ring, finally found the way to the end of our whole sun. Again, staying at Southern Andy, quite go back to the stalls if you guys are interested. Look at the service we had today. 36 should be the next one. We should have OU champion coming through the game. Here he is, he's got that pretty snip to him. Here's OU champion, it's Sam South Prairie Stables from Arcola, Illinois. Standard red stand, that is by OU man with a white blood Somali dam, noble gesture, second dam. A lot of kind of outcross pedigree here that can cross with a lot of different mares that still have in your bars. Young stand with a lot of natural ability. His offspring looking very promising. Standing 2023, right there in Ohio, Fountain Oak Stables. Uh, he's going to be standing there presented by Green Acre Stables, Robert Miller. Here's another champion himself. OU champion, Ruben Stallion. Kind of a different pedigree here, guys. You've got Malamar Man in the pedigree. Uh, pedigree noble gesture there is a solid damn sack. 
for him to count a lot of different mares if he so desired. Again, standing the 2023 season right there in Fountain Oak Stables. Back Holmes County, Ohio, present by Green Acre Stables. Here he is, 36, an OU man's son, OU champ. Ready for the next step. Cash and credit. All right, if you could, get your horses ready. We want to start the mayor's sale by 1 o'clock. That's in an hour. If you guys could please get your stallions ready if you're out the barn to understand there's a couple guys have a couple stallions here in the back end. But if you could please, we'd appreciate it. We've got some head game to go. Try to keep that in mind also as you're in the ring. Right here he comes, he's on that new PET card. I tell you what guys, keep that in mind. I believe we're giving away one of these cards tomorrow night after the sale. Casey's is gonna be uh, sponsoring this beautiful PET card. I tell you what, this is Ozzy's legend. Ozzy, Ozzy, pine tucky bear, just like honey. Got a pine chip second down. A lot of depth in the pedigree. He's a well man, great driving setting. He's producing top quality offspring with correct conformation and a willing attitude. And like some of the other Ozzy, Ozzy's, he gets better with age. You get a 10% discount if you book today or tomorrow. Oh, stand number 39, Ozzy's Legend. There you got it, PP training card in action. Again, you get a 10% discount if you book today or tomorrow to that young Ozzy Ozzy staff. You did a good job on the drive. Beautiful card there, Pine Tucky, Pine Chip Mother, Ozzy Legend. Bring on the next one. Good job, Robert. Bring on 41. Start sorting the three boys. 41, if you guys are ready, bring them on up. Here's Royal Jules, a Royal Jules for my staff. You're hearing some about out there in Indiana. Can set the grand new stables from Middlebury, Indiana. He's my Royal Jules for life. He's got a Muscle Yankee mother named Soul Second Dam. Young Shannon with an awesome attitude. Season. Says here, book full and close in his first season. There's still some readings available this next season. Steve was on the standing star wall, expecting the first fold in four weeks. Contact brand new stables or premier acres for contracts. We still have some available at this time. Good attitude, awesome in the barn, kid in the barn. Here he is, 
of the hot side are all team flying with a muscle game in this whole day. Don't forget. 
again, guys, Wade Wilcox is in the building, and he's going to be taking pictures of your stallions. Here comes the next stallion. This is Mr. Agent Blackout, the stallion with a big front end. He's in Kentucky, Donnie Anderson from Evansville, Tennessee. He is by the hot sire Newtown Chocolatier, and he's got a Courtney River mother. Here he is, a black stand that kind of speaks for himself. If you're looking to add some serious front end, shoulder, and a headset to your mare, this might be the chance you want to take. He's Newtown Chocolatier, which goes back to Chocolatier on the top side, Courtney River Dam site, which gives you the opportunity to outcross with a lot of different pedigrees in the mare industry. Guys, uh, he said, look full and close for this next coming year, but these double mallet stallions that are going to be coming in, they've got a booth just on the outside here, guys, if you want to walk out there. They've got their lineup of stallions. Here he is, Mr. Agent Blackout. So again, he's booked full and closed for 2023. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to go out here and talk to Rob Hershberger, Double Valley Farms. They've got the booth out here. See what you can do about getting in for 2024 on this exciting young stallion out of Newtown Chocolatier. And we want to thank the sponsor whose banner lays on the floor. We want to thank them. There he is, number 40, Agent Blackout. If you want in for 2024, I encourage you guys to go out there, talk to the guys out in Dublin Valley Farms. Good job, Wade. I didn't know you had that ability. <laughs> Next set coming in, I believe we should be back on track, should be set at number 42, is it? 42, I believe we've got his Tomato Hero, Michael Dieter in San Bernardino, Pennsylvania. Here's one by Crazy Prince. He's got Majestic Sun of Sierra Cosmo as the anchor on the second dam. They're excited to introduce Tomato, comes from an incredible dam line that loves to move. Looking forward to see what he will be producing. First season at Southern Indy, well, here's a young, exciting set. Stud fee is $1,500. First time to a presentation. I tell you what, guys. He's Crazy Prince on the top side. Majestic Sun, Sierra Cosmo. If you're looking for a pedigree as well as a little bit of confirmation in color, he's got it for you. 42, Kamado Hero. Stand 42 in the ring, guys. This is Kamada Hero, just a new stand. First time to the public. You know, sometimes it's always better to get in on the bus with some of these young stallions. If you see some little bit of something special that you like, be sure to get on at them because once they start producing and those foals come out, it's hard to catch up. Next second coming in should be 43, Celebrity, that's right. Here he comes. Here's that young Shang S43. He's going to be Celebrity Maserati. He's going to be sent by G. Daniel Stoltz, who is Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. He's by one of the best and hottest sires ever to be coming into the industry and over all the SJ Caviar Dam. Speedy Crown Second Dam, a true black son of Andover Hall. Just a young stand in. They're excited to start for his foals to start popping out and we'll see what he'll produce. The mother is a maternal sister, the four stars road road, I tell you what, and he's in, this is an Andover Hall. 
going to be standing in Lanchester Equine for 2023. You guys be sure to talk to Junior Fisher if you guys have any interest in reading to this young Andover Hall stallion with an SJ scanning our mother. $1,000 service fee for the first 20 mayor of that book. And then after that, it's got to be twelve hundred dollars So get in, you guys can save $200 if you want to on an Andover Hall sub that's just young. Kind of exciting. Be sure to go out to Jigger Fisher's stalls if you guys have any interest in reading to any of his stallions. He's got his contracts out back there. He's standing quite a lineup of stallions for 2023. And this one is no exception as an Andover Hall sub. Next one, we're ready for Sierra Flashman. Here comes that stand that everybody's kind of been waiting for. He kind of was just, we knew about him, but we didn't really talk a lot about him until about this last month and a half. And everybody's talking about him, Sierra Flashback. He's just had a Blue Mountain Equine in Newburgh, Pennsylvania. A big Flash Fox for a Flash Top Side. A very stand over Sierra Cosmo. He's got a 16 2 handed expressive individual. He had an injury in the past that kept him from performing sound and presentation. The past two years, they're still dealing with it. Nevertheless, He's been producing cops out of a wide variety of mares. Take advantage of the situation, guys. Sierra's flashback is in center stage. Uh, he said his book is filling pretty fast right now. And he said after, you know, they get to a certain number, they're going to be putting up the price. So if you want in, you better get in now. What a better time to get in the industry here. If you want to bring the Sierra's flashback, get in now while he's time. Here he is, big outstanding black stallion with a lot of drive. The reason we haven't seen him drive is due to injuries in the past presentations, but now we've seen all spring and we're liking what we're seeing. Top five all spring average 26.6 here this last year. Very exciting guys, if you want in, you better get into this this week yet. Today or tomorrow, go back to the stalls. We'll be talking to them on this exciting stage. Here is flashback. You know, I like to think if if we look at the poll that sold at the yearling sale. If you guys want to breed your mares now, by the time that thing's sold, maybe as a driving stallion, who knows? You might have a yearly. Get on the bus. Next one in, 45. Bring on in. 46. Ready for lap 46. This is Rap on Oz. Here comes that big black Ozzy Ozzy stallion, Rap on Oz. He is to send a Joel Lambright from Rome City, Indiana. He is got Sierra Cosmo on the damn side. Dropped by Mike Yoder. Standing in Royal Lee White Acres for 2023. Rap right over 100 mares in 2022. His offspring are looking good with great front end. First four wheeling fillies sold for an average of 15,000. A limited amount of breeding shares are available. Standing in Royal Lee White Acres, uh, Royal in Topeka, Indiana for a service fee of $1,500. Life will guarantee multiple mare discounts are available on a black Ozzy Ozzy Sun. Here he is, Matt Bonas. I remember we sold the first house spring of Philly out of Rap on Oz in the National Breeder Show game. What was it for 26 to 28,000? That was two years ago. Here's another beautiful individual, Ozzy Ozzy Sun, and this one's black.
Again, setting and rolling for Zeke Coyne for 2023, right out there in Indiana. Wrap on Oz in the ring, number 46. That was 46 and again down. The next one coming in should be 47. Here he comes, Papa the Yankee, who sent to Robert Miller from Middlebury, Indiana. Standard Red saying that he's by Muscle Massive with a Conway Hall Dam. BJ Smack's second dam. Young Horror just starting to come into his own. Yankee bred a handful of mares in 21 and 22. First offspring are looking very promising. First presentation he's ever been to. Limited amount of lifetime shares are available. See us in the stall for more details. Here's a stand by the hot stack and Muscle Massive with a Conway Hall mother. Standing in row. Again, standing 47, Papa Yankee in the ring. Muscle, massive sub with a kind of hold in. Be sure to have your stallions lined up, guys. We're nearing that mark. Thank you there, 47, lead of the ring, Papa Yankee. Open the gate for the one and only new stallion in the Dublin Valley Farm lineup. For 2023, here's a young, exciting stand that a lot of people were excited and looking to see. This is Hal Stormy. He's got the Memorial Sale graduate. He is 45 and he's to the center half. Jonathan Fisher, Stormy Ridge Stables from Central Pennsylvania. A standard red stallion that is centered individual that is young, he's a new face in town, a lot of excitement coming with him, he's a refined modern day stallion, a lot to offer in the breed, staying at Dublin Valley Farms, and he is the new guy on the block there in Mount Hope, Ohio. If you're looking for something with a lot of forward movement, and something that you can breed a lot of your different mares to, he's a Dewey Credit Player Donnerill, all the reasons in the world to be a Dragon Horse stallion. Here he is, Hal Stormy. If you guys look at the industry as a whole, the world champion, great world champion, Divine Conqueror, he was sired by Dewey. If you look, there's a lot of show stands out there, show horses that are sired by Dewey. Cheetah and Mount, they'll cross extremely well with their Andover home mares. If you guys have some Andover home mares and you want to cross them out with a big stand with some size and bone, right here he is. And if you guys, another thing to keep in mind, if you're looking to sell yearlings, it is always good to have about a two-inch advantage on the other yearlings there at the sale. Your big yearlings will always stand out. And here's a stack that will produce some. Do we cheat him now? Credit winner Dam. Here he is. Open the gate. 
out gate going out. Al Stormy leading the ring. That was 45. Bring on 50. The next one coming in. Here's another sharp drop in the That's kind of made his mark in the industry. The last one was a new stallion. And this one is kind of a proven stallion. Perfect popper. We're liking what we're seeing in his offspring. Bring him in. Here he is, the pretty strip on his face and a serious turn. Perfect converse to the by Owen Nisley. Sharon Iowa, Santa Red Stag, that is started by Duke's Ranger. And over whole band, Batty Victor, second band, standing at the Dublin Valley Farm for 2023. A stag that is showing to be a stag that produces some serious hot driving horses with go forward attitude. Pretty face he does have. Here he is, if you're looking for that solid, chunky build that's got an athletic ability, look no further. <laughs> His book was full, and last year he said there are still spots available to get in this next year. Be sure to go back out here at the Hall, Big Hall, talk to Double Valley Farms if you're interested in signing contracts to this beautiful forward thinking set. They sold a three-year-old, one of the first foals, one of his oldest foals off of him for $22,000 in driving gelding, and that's what he started to produce.
Again, there is a good stick Lindy. He's been producing time and time again. You see Dragon Offspring, Broodmares, Race Horses, you name it. He's got it. Big stick Lindy leading the ring. Next horse coming in, 51, bring on Major Athens, another Andover Hall stag in the San Miguel Team White. Loud Hill, Ohio, here is an old son of Andover Hall, self-possessed mother, set big black setting, setting in the Dublin Valley Farms. Another Andover Hall stag, if you're looking to pass on his legacy. 10% discount if you book at the sale. He is in the Ohio program for 2023. He had two two-year-olds going to 56. Two two-year-olds won the Sire Stakes in Iowa. Some commercial pedigree here. He himself made 350000 as a two-year-old. And at the uh, top, one of my buddies that I've got, he was thinking about uh, putting the major athletes out there, trying them out on the track. If you want to go a couple of different ways, be sure to check him out. He is, after all, an old son of Ain't Overall. Since he's in Ohio, staying at Dublin Valley Farms, his oldest holes are going to be yearlings. So there's some excitement coming up through the pipeline. This is Major Athens, bred 130 mares last year. Filling up again this year. Get in if you want in with this young shark and over also. Good job once again, that was Major in Athens. The next horse coming in is going to be in 49. We should have Dr. Gunn open the gate for this exciting stag coming into the ring. He's going to be sent by Chestnut Green, Delancey Goshen, Indiana. He's centered by Mr. Glory, B. Umber, Jaws, Dan, and Hans Second Dam. A stag that is the reigning reserve national champion, Rose Herdivite, a full brother to world grand champion, Mike Casey. His oldest offspring just sold for 52000 If you guys saw that mare drive, you'll know she was hands down one of the prettiest mares you'll find. She sold at the back, which makes us very excited to see more offspring. If you guys were watching, there was a stallion in here earlier that was started by Dr. Gunn as well. Limited breedings are available, $2,500 life, full guarantee. Standing at New Paris Equine Center, managed and trained by Sterling Equine. Check out the latest busy beaver for his coloring contest and charity fundraiser for all with prizes of um, ponies and breeds. Probably one of the prettiest heads you'll find in the industry. Got a pretty neck. If you guys want in, be sure to get in on the bus. He sold his oldest offspring for 52000 that pretty mare. Passing on his traits and his looks to his offspring. Here he is. This is Dr. Gunn.
Here he is, a very refined Ozzy Ozzy standing coming in the ring. Even she got one mother. Green vacation, second day, he's standing up and down the cards, as you all know, for 2023. A young, exciting stallion that it gets better every time you see him drive. He's consigned the A-Mass with his partnership right there from Dundee, Ohio. Sharp as you'll find him, guys. The one in 2023. Be sure to go out and talk to those guys. He is sharp as can be. Book full and close for 2023. Thank you to all the shareholders, Alvin said. They appreciate everyone in, involved. If you guys want something exciting, these e masterpiece yearlings are look at the park. He said his yearlings were top five in the yearling sale in Mount Hope. If you guys were looking at the averages, and there's a reason for it. He's producing some with long necks. He's probably got as solid side as you'll find. Ozzy Ozzy, ABC Garland, here you go, jump on the bus, a masterpiece. If you guys want in, it's always exciting to see. We just sold a share in Gordyville for $20,000. So if you want to be a shareholder, be sure to talk to one of the shareholders or keep an eye out. Every once in a while, we'll pop up at auction. Next one coming in, ladies and gentlemen, should be 52. Open the gate for number 52, winning American Shady coming in. Here comes a standing that impressed me with his drive in the Breeder Showcase. Here's Wedding American. He's a standing that's in the Starbucks stable from Lewis, Pennsylvania. He's an own son of Cadabra. He's got a Conway home dam, American Winter Second Dam. He's got a dam that made over a million dollars. With Mississippi, he's probably got one of the most commercial side pedigrees you'll see on the dam side in this industry today, probably. He is beautiful. He's young. They want to thank all for the Bears bred in 2022 in the first breeding season. Prep by Slade Acres Stables. Here he is. The Cadaver Sample winning Again, winning America in the ring. Grab by Slade Acres. Here he is. Cadaver Conway Hall. And he's out of that hot mare win to see. There you go, he's winning America, lost a tire down at the bottom end. Next one coming in, ladies and gentlemen, bring in a lot. 56, here's another young, exciting stand. Majestic Monarch of San Francisco, he's quite from Evansville, Tennessee. He is shared by Ozzy Ozzy. This one's got an arm row tunnel dam at a victory ring second dam. An elite driving stand that speaks for himself. I want to thank everybody who booked to this stand last year. They hope that we will be breeding bears again for them this year. You get a 10% discount if you book today or tomorrow. Go back to Double Valley Farm. Be sure to talk about your contract and the terms, etc. Here he is, Majestic 
monitor, he's an Aussie Aussie son. A ton of interest in the last couple of weeks. Here's a stand that is extremely fertile. It seems to be easy to get mares in full with this hot, forward-thinking stand that's got all kinds of motion and pedigree. He said, as of January 10th, they had a good-looking filly born out of a majestic monitor. Be exciting to see the first couple of full crops coming through. Type of mare being bred to this one, I know for a fact, is he's elegant, the $235,000 mare. Is bred by two majestic monarchs for this next year to raise some foals. There's bound to be some beautiful babies coming out of him. Be sure to go out and book if you guys are interested. Perfect. Next horse coming in. We're going to do Q Hall real quick. Lot 54 is not here due to, I believe, he pulled a suspensory. So he's not, they're not dragging around anything here. But you guys, there's nothing that needs to be said any further. If you guys watch the marketing, you follow the trail, you know exactly what you'll find. Last year's cover of the Busy Beaver, second edition. He's an old son of Andover Hall. He's got a muscle Yankee mother. Super Bowl second band. He's standing his offspring with a bright eye. Good confirmation. He's saying with Jonathan Fisher, Stormy Ridge Stables. Standing at Pleasant Hill Farms again. This next uh, breeding season, if you guys have any interest at all, there are still some breedings available to you. Nope. Book full and closed, he said. Book full and closed to Q Hall for 2023. He said, be sure to go out there, talk to them about 2024 breedings. Uh, if you want in for one of the hottest and over whole sons, be sure to go out there and talk to them. He's out of that hot curly Q mare, Sweet American, his, his second dam. Standing his offspring the way you like him, Q Hall. Be sure to go out and talk to Pleasant Hill Farms or see Jonathan Fisher, you guys have interest. One more stand, and I believe we're ready for mares. All right, I tell you what, we got one more stand coming in, and then we're going to be ready for the mare sale. This one pretty much needs no introduction. We can probably leave the block and let Richard do the talking out on the card. Here's Lordy Lordy, by one of the most up and coming stands that they like to see. A hot stand that is still pretty fresh. Um, he's just young. He's a muscle massive with a light master dam, muscle Yankee second dam with a big loose front end. Here he comes, Lordy Lordy, extremely talented. He's owned by Maple Leaf Point from Horse Cave, Kentucky. Sandy Shaker Lord Stables, 2023. Here he is, just watch and learn, Lordy Lordy. There you have it, standing at Stadium Loan Stables for 2023. He's a muscle massive flying master. There's still some readings available. If you guys want to go out and talk to Richard, I know there's some reading shares maybe available again. Lifetime reading shares as well as readings for 2023. Get them while they're still available on this young hot stallion. You guys have any mares? If you're in the first 25 mare lots, you start getting your mares uh, ready. We got the last stallion in the ring, so we're going to be ready for mares in about five to ten minutes. As soon as we get this ring cleared out a little bit, we'll be ready for the mare sale. Thank you. 